Hello and welcome back. It's Olga and today I'm gonna be creating a Ghostbusters inspired Halloween mini card. This card also works like a gift tag. I'll be using a birch press design uh, die to create the shape of the card, but let's start from the beginning. I have trimmed down a piece of purple cardstock to two and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches. And then I'm going to fold it in half. That is going to be the base of my card or a tag. Next I'm applying a little bit of hot glue at the top of the card and I'm sticking down a piece of black twine to be able to hang the tag. And here is the die that I was talking about. It is called Home Sweet Home and it's by Birch Press Design. I've die cut it out of black and orange cardstocks. Since I've die cut the house out of plain cardstock, I decided to add a little bit more texture to it. I'm using a ruler and one millimeter stylus tip to basically draw some horizontal lines and that is going to create wood board texture. I'm covering the entire surface with those lines and here is what it looks like when it's finished. As always you can find the list of supplies that I'm using on my blog and in the description for this video. Now I'm applying some uh, liquid glue at the wrong side of the house and I'm sticking it down onto the card base. I'm using a needle applicator bottle to kind of draw inside the window outlines with the liquid glue and then I'm sticking down the orange uh, die cuts right inside the windows. I simply adore various house dyes because just by using different colors and materials you can create totally different feel. Now I'm deciding which roof to choose and I think that the orange one looks prettier but uh, the purple one is gloomier and this is what I'm looking for in this project. Now I'm attaching this last piece and my house is now assembled. The sentiment I'm going to use is from the mini set called Call Me. I'm going to stamp it with black ink onto the white cardstock, then I'm going to trim the white cardstock to the strip and attach it to my card. There is a little bit of space between the first and the second floor and here is where I can attach the sentiment strip. Then I'm trimming off all extra cardstock from the sides of the card. There is one more little detail I'm gonna need. I'll be using two semicircle die cuts so made with the same die. Then I'm trimming off everything from the inside. I'm only going to leave the outlines. I'm sticking the first semicircle onto the piece of black paper and I have only applied the glue onto that uh, arch, not to the bar. Then I'm sticking the second one, overlapping the first one and this time I have applied the glue to all the die cut. Then I'm going to use a small circle die to cut out this image. And finally I'm going to use a sequin mix by Cat Scrappiness that is called Ghostly Greetings. It contains a bunch of sequins as well as uh, the tiny ghost images. Here you can see that this bar is not attached to the background and I'm going to use it to stick uh, the ghost behind that bar. Of course, it's not looking exactly like Ghostbusters logo, but at least it's similar. Then I'm using a foam square to attach the sign at the top of the house. To make the house really haunted, I'm going to add more ghosts. One coming out of the window and all other ones are just flying around. The glue I was using for all the die cuts as well as for the sequence is Ranger Multimedia Matte.
I'm going to attach a few more sequins from the same set all around the house and my project is finished. By the way, this card is perfect size for a gift card, so if you want to add it inside, you can totally do it. Hope you enjoyed the project. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend.